now let's do a small example here we have an excel sheet and we don't know how many rows are there and we don't know how many columns are there for a particular row so my example is that go and find how many rows are there okay and for each row how many columns are there the simple words go and get how many rows are there after that go to each row and get number of columns because you can't get the columns directly without giving rows information isn't it assume that we have five rows in this particular sheet okay how many columns are there in the first row how many columns are there in the second row how many columns are there in the third row that is what i want to get as output okay so let's see so first find total number of rows wb dot get sheet sheet 3 get last row number it will give you in terms of index integer r count that represents row count if you want you can take it into the console saying that that's why so total number of rows equal to concatenate with r count so this will give you total number of next so now total number of rows now you need to go to the each row and get the column count so for that i'm going to use a loop statement here for int start from i because my index starts with zero and execute it till i value reaches to r count so 0 1 2 3 4 so 5 times wait will iterate for every iteration add 1 to i okay open and close the brace now wb dot get the sheet again sheet 3 get a row what row you need to get i throw for the first iteration it should be zero for the second iteration it will be one two three four so open like that so i'm asking you to get the row i throw so that's the reason i have written a loop okay even if you have 100 rows also first it will start from zero one two three four up till it reaches r count r count is nothing but total number of rows in a particular excel sheet okay so get row After getting the row, get last cell number. So this will give you column count of that particular row. CLM count, let me call it as its integer. Now let me write in a proper way. SYSO. I represents index i index row i index row in the i represent zero zero index row in the sense first row right so i index row contains Four, three, two, whatever it may be, it will write the columns. Okay, i starts with zero, one, two, three, so upon i count. So first, first iteration will write zero. Index row contains column count. Whatever the column provided by the system, it will give you three. Assume that. So the statement will be zero. Index row contains three columns that is how it will give you as an output save the test and run this test see how many columns are how many rows are there and for each row how many columns are there it will give you details clearly total number of rows are four so it's nothing but five according to the index 
So zero index row contains three columns. One index row contains four columns. Two index contains six. Three index contains four, and again four index contains five. You can see that on the screen. Exactly. 